Greetings, Grappling Ignorance, big fan, and I want to make it clear, I really do like your idea of cameras in the classrooms. However, I have thought of two possible problems that I would hope can be solved. The lesser, perhaps, is I think there need to be very specific boundaries to how much influence the parents can have in response to seeing the taped sessions. Because I can imagine a lot of parents who see their children as just these perfect little angels that can't handle how the student is being treated in class, perhaps by the teacher, perhaps by other students, even though it by outside parties, you know, objective observers, would seem to be completely fair. You know, I'm not talking about when someone is being bullied or something, but maybe this parent feels that their child needs, you know, special attention or something, when really it isn't called for, and I would just hate for good teachers to get fired just because of shrill, unrealistic parents. The bigger problem I see is... I agree that bullying might be lessened by this constant surveillance, at least in the classrooms and such, but I also see that... I see the possibility that it could, in some cases, worsen because when you have partial surveillance, when you watch people some of the time, some of the people who are the reason for the surveillance get smart and they, you know, do their stuff outside of the surveillance zones. and. This might lead, you know, students or teachers to overreact during, you know, when they're being surveilled. I personally experienced that, you know, when someone is bullying you, they're going to be smart about it. They're going to behave fine in the classroom when there's a teacher or, you know, in general when you know, there's too many other people around, or, you know, especially if those people might not be on their side. But then, you know, as soon as that isn't the case, they're, you know, going to go completely nuts about it. And I've personally had a lot of experiences with teachers who really just utterly incapable of seeing beyond the situation they had witnessed, where they think that the reaction to, you know, provocation is completely over the top, when in reality it's, you know, a reaction to sustained bullying over a long period of time that they don't know about, and it's been my experience that they tend to side with the other person because, you know, I think it, at the very core we're still kind of simple. We believe what we see or what we perceive before we believe, you know, what might also be true. But anyway, yes, I would love for those problems to get solved. I hope you found this interesting. And finally, I just want to point out, I wouldn't say that you, Grappling Ignorance, have been, you know, peddling easy answers, but I do think that it's important with surveillance to always remember, you know, not, let's not fall into that trap of, ooh, the people who are against this must have something to hide. I think there are some people who can adapt extremely well and who, you know, who just are really good at hiding what they don't want others to see. And then there are people who get freaked out by 
you know, having cameras pointed at them, and we just need to remember that those people aren't necessarily, you know, potential, you know, they're not necessarily going to do something just because there aren't cameras. Not everyone is comfortable with, you know, being watched.